Check out what I saw when I was out driving. Two coyotes outside. Okay, so I'm going to do another three hours of uh, doing deliveries for Uber Eats and DoorDash. Um, today is September 4th. It's about 6 p.m. and we'll see how things go. I'm gonna turn on stride to track my miles. There we go. I'm going to start Uber Eats. Here we go. And I have to wait for DoorDash to be available. So over here I have a few restaurants. I have Cafe Zupa's, there's Zero Degrees, and there's Mod Pizza. So I usually get orders from Mod Pizza and Cafe Zupa's. Uh, once in a while I'll get orders from Zero Degrees, not many. And then to my left there's Ajo Al's. Um, sometimes I get orders from there, like usually pretty good orders from there. I want to talk a little bit about the difference between Uber Eats and DoorDash. You know, which one do I make more money with? Um, each day is different. Sometimes I make more money with DoorDash. Some days I'll make more money with um, Uber Eats. It all depends on how the orders are coming in. So there's been days where I've only done DoorDash or there's days I've only done Uber Eats. So it just depends. All right, so I got Dash now on DoorDash. I'm gonna turn that on and let's wait for the orders to come in. Got a Chick-fil-A, so I'm not taking this one. It's $8, almost eight miles, so. Then we got this Mod Pizza order, $9.50, 10 miles. I'm not taking this one, so decline. So I have these Dickies Barbecue Pit, uh, $8.75, four miles. I'm going to accept this on DoorDash. And then I turn off Uber Eats. Here we are at Dickies Barbecue. All right, let's go inside. Okay, we got the order. Okay, I got the order to deliver. Oh man, we're waiting for like all these ducks like to like cross the road. Uh, so, I mean, it's a pretty nice park over here. Hey duckies, hey. <laughs> I mean, that's a cool thing about doing deliveries and driving. You're gonna see, you know, cool things like ducks, animals, sometimes weird looking animals you've never seen before. Two coyotes outside. I'm looking at them right now. Yeah, there's like two coyotes. One's just walking, and they're so skinny looking. They look super skinny, like they're probably looking for food. So my delivery is at apartments and they gave me the building number and the apartment number. So I gotta find the building number first. So the instructions are to leave the order at the door. There we go. All right, need to take a photo of it, take a picture. All right, that one's 875. So now I have Uber Eats and DoorDash turned on and I'm waiting for my next order. I'm not taking this one. This is $12, 19 miles, too far for me. So this one's $11, 15 miles from uh, DoorDash. So I'm not taking this one, it's too far. So I'm gonna take this Oregano's order. It's $5.50 for two miles on DoorDash. Here we are at Oregano's Pizza Bistro. I've only eaten here once. Going inside. So they said this order is going to be a few minutes, so I'm going to put the status. So tell us what's happening. Then I'll check off order is still being prepared when arrived. And then submit. And we got the order here. So the oregano's order, uh, the customer says to leave it at the door. Don't ring the doorbell. Kids are probably sleeping, so I'm going to follow those instructions. Wow, they have a lot of flowers. Drop off the order. And take a photo. Take a picture. Complete delivery. And it's 5.50. So now I turn on Uber Eats and DoorDash and wait for my next order. This one's $11, 10 miles. I'm not gonna take this one. So I'm gonna take this one. It's $9.61, 2.5 miles at Thai Chili To Go. So uh, Thai Chili To Go is okay. Um, I, I, only, um, I only had it once. I had the pad thai and then egg rolls, and my wife had the masa man. Basically, that's a, a curry. In a quarter mile, but, making you turn. But I remember it was super hot. Um, we had to let the food like cool off. So otherwise, it was it wasn't too bad, but not great. Here we are at Thai Chili, making our way in. All right, so taking the next order. So this person wants me to leave it at the door. Do not knock or ring the doorbell. All right, leaving it at the door. All right, leave at the door, take a picture, then submit the picture. Then done. Now it's starting to get dark out. Just driving back to the restaurants and waiting for the next order. This one's $5, 25 miles. There's no way I'm taking this one. Mad Greens, 875, 14 miles. I'm not taking this one. Okay, taking this order from Cafe Zupa, 681, three miles. Here we are at Cafe Zupa's. Let's go inside. Sometimes restaurants will give you a free drink while you're waiting. Get myself a nice drink. Here we go. Get myself a Coke, if that's okay. 
So this order is taking a while, so I'm going to put not ready. And they thank me for the feedback, and they'll try to improve the pickups at this location. Got it. Sometimes Cafe Zupas takes a while. If it takes too long, what I usually do is cancel the order. Order verified and confirm pickup. Put in the order. So the Cafe Zupas order is going to uh, an apartment and the customer is asking me to send them a message to open the gate. So sometimes the customers don't give you a gate code. So he says that he can open it manually. Okay, taking the order. Here we go. All right, taking a photo. Here, taking the photo, submitting the photo, delivered. So now we have the Cinnabon order, $15.75. By the time we get there, it'll be about eight miles left. So this next pickup is at Arrowhead Mall. Um, so I normally uh, park near Fired Pie or stop there because um, it's closer to uh, the restaurants inside. So sometimes it's better not to follow GPS because it takes you to the front and to walk to the restaurants, it takes forever because you're like running uphill. So that's why um, if you're going to do a pickup at the mall, try to find a place that has the shortest distance to the restaurants. So there's the fired pie and I'm going into the mall to get the Cinnabon order. So Cinnabon is just right there. So it's very close. So I got my Cinnabon order to deliver. So exiting the mall, they have this new restaurant called Sizzle. Korean barbecue that's coming out so I'm excited to try that so so this delivery is about 6.5 miles it's almost $16 so it's not a bad order so we're in a place where they have like million dollar homes and uh, like these man-made lakes around them hard to see but uh, look at all these homes really big homes all right so taking their order here we go that was that order okay we're gonna take this Caraba order $11 4.5 miles this is Caraba's pickup area right here. All right, we got our order. All right, here we go. All right, so here we go. Leave it door, ring doorbell when you drop off. Okay, completing this order. Forgot to take a photo. Complete delivery. That one, it's $14.25. So that Caraba's order, um, it was originally $11, but uh, I got $14.25 for it. So sometimes you'll get more than what it actually says. So I got an $11 order from Angry Chicks and Freddy's and it's about six miles, so pretty good order. So this is Angry Chicks, checking it out. Let's go inside. Okay, they want me to enter a code D05, D05. All right, got my order. All right, so my next stop is Freddy's. All right, so I'm here at Freddy's, getting the Freddy's order. All right, so now it's time to deliver these orders. All right, dropping off the Freddy's order, take a photo. Take a photo, then complete delivery. All right, so delivering the order to the door. Complete delivery. Gotta take a photo, take a photo. All right, complete this order. And I got the $11. And I'm ending the dash. So let's go over how much I made for the day. So today I actually drove a little bit over three hours. So three hours and 10 minutes. And I drove about 47 miles. So Uber Eats, I made about $16.42. DoorDash, I made about $55.25. So I made about $71.67 today. So a little bit under $24 an hour. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you have any questions or you just want to comment on the video. And if you're interested in becoming an Uber driver, um, here's a QR code you can scan. Just scan this QR code on the screen. And then it will take you to a link where you can sign up for Uber Eats as a driver. And thank you for watching.